straight from the heat waves in Australia's summer to a cold winter in Japan. It's made me reflect on the remarkable journey that our respective countries have travelled. From fighting each other in the Second World War to Australia building one of its closest relationships uh, with any country is a truly wonderful story. It is a journey that my family have travelled over many, many decades. My father was a young officer in Bougainville at the end of the Second World War, negotiating with the senior Japanese officers. Just 14 years later, he was negotiating with senior Japanese business leaders resource agreements that to this day still underpin Australia's economy. And interestingly, those Japanese officers became good friends. You can see from these photos some of the Japanese Prime Ministers he was negotiating with at that time. During my own time in politics, I have had the privilege of building upon those foundations. And since leaving politics over the past 16 years, I have enjoyed working in the corporate world across North Asia in particular. I have a wonderful relationship with the Japanese trading houses, the Japanese energy utilities, and I'm looking forward to broadening that base in my new role. I arrive in Japan in my new role as Australia's senior diplomat at a time when the relationships between our two countries has never been stronger. However, it won't be all work and no play. Japan is going to be hosting the World Rugby Cup in 2019, the Tokyo Olympic Games in 2020, followed by the World Masters Games the following year. And I'm sure that's going to bring a lot of good old fashioned sporting rivalry to the fore. My wife Jo and I are both proud and privileged to be a part of Team Australia in this beautiful country. Your Rossiku on the